Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, you can. Um, it seemed like especially in the second half, you were really um, okay. you want to free and like looking uh, excited. Yeah. Was tonight kind of like a relief to finally get back in, on the winning column and, and put together a really good fourth quarter? Um, yeah, I think it felt really good for everybody to get a win. You know, we've been struggling lately. Uh, but today, you know, we got it was physical game. Uh, I think we responded really well. And it seemed like you were celebrating and everybody was kind of celebrating a little more than normal. Was there kind of like an extra emphasis on, on really closing this one out and just maybe trying to dig yourself or pull yourselves out of this you know, that, that stretch in that end so good? Yeah, uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, last game we had a 17 point lead and we blew it out. Blew it, I don't know how to say. It. Yeah, but uh, and today, you know, we just needed to secure the win, and that's what we did in the fourth quarter. I'm sorry to make you look ahead two days from now, but getting to play against Rick for the first time um, after spending your first three years with him, what do you expect those emotions to be like? Uh, Jason said that he thinks you know, the players that were with him for a while might, might feel a little extra something. I mean, I think obviously there's going to be emotions, you know. Uh, he's been here for, what, 10, 11 years, even more. Yeah. And, you know, uh, he brings a championship to Dallas. Everybody respects him in Dallas. But, as, uh, you know, obviously there's going to be emotions. But we're looking forward to that game. Okay, go ahead, Kevin. Luca, in a game like this where obviously things can get chippy throughout a game, how are you guys able to keep your composure? As Jason talked about, that was the message at halftime about keeping your composure. How are you guys able to do that, especially in the fourth quarter to get the win tonight? Uh, just stay together. Uh, I think we did a great job, like I said, closing out the game. We knew we needed that win badly, and we just played physical back. I think that was our key to the win today. Yeah, Luca, how much does it help you specifically as the primary ball handler to have a guy like Reggie out there who's really good at moving off the ball, cutting, and finding the open seams in the defense? I mean, yeah, it's really important. Uh, you know, he... He got a couple cuts. Uh, he got open shots. Uh, we know he's going to knock him down. And we we trust him. You know, the whole team trusts him. Hey, Luca, a few games ago, you said it's not about just defense or offense. It's about getting better at both sides of the ball. Tonight, your team did that shooting 48% while holding the Grizzlies to 40%. What's your assessment on nights like this with your team um, on both sides of the court going your way? Yeah, I think we got to do this more, you know, especially, I think, uh, especially in the back-to-back, -back, we did a great job. You know, it's always tough to play back-to-backs. But today, I think we did a great job, like you said, on both ends, and that's what we got to do more. Right, we have one in Spanish, Luca, te saluda Leonardo Torres de Perú. Felicidades por la victoria. Luca, luego de una derrota tan dura como la de que sufrieron frente a Nets, ¿cuál fue la mentalidad para encarar este partido? Uh, bueno, eh, como siempre digo, hay muchos partidos en esta temporada. Eh, siempre hay que estar juntos y creo que, uh, como has dicho, creo que respondimos muy bien.